Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, oh, welcome. So hopping straight into this hairstyle, we're gonna have a bust down braid in the middle, okay? So how you do that is you will part maybe like half an inch away from the middle and we are gonna part this all the way back to the kitchen. Yeah. So then once you get that all parted out, then I would make this braid maybe like a width of an inch. We don't want it too big. You can make it as small as you want, but not too big. Not bigger than an inch, okay? So yeah. And then after you get that done, we're going to gel it up, clean it up. We all know the drill. And so this is what the back of the head is looking like. Okay, trying to make it as straight and even as possible. It, you know, it took me a little while to, you know, I just don't be showing y'all because y'all don't want to be seeing all that. Y'all want to see how to get this hairstyle done, right? Okay, so now we're going to be prepping the hair. Okay, so we're going to be putting some gel on the base of the hair and we're going to be combing that through. I would honestly comb the hair out first and then put gel on because if you got tangles and you put gel on top of that it's it's it's, it's just not cute it's not a good combination you know what i mean tangled hair and gel they are not two peas in a pie so yeah don't do what i did and by the way right here i was listening to the music and it was way too loud for her i was listening to disney songs i'm like child you don't want to sing along with me she talking about, I can't hear my tablet. I can't hear my tablet. My camera, the right? show she be watching. Them kids be screaming, I don't care about your tablet. Anyways, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start braiding. And y'all, I'm going to have a braiding tutorial. Girl, I saw your comment. I mean, obviously, I reply back to you. Girl, I got a video coming just for you. And anybody else that want to know how to cornrow, I got y'all. Stay tuned. And so this is what the braid is looking like. Looking like a little rat tail. Ah, but it's crispy though. Y'all can't, y'all can't deny it. it ain't crispy. That's crispy. So now we're going to be moving on to the second braid. Okay. So this is going to be like just a little bit above the ear. And then again, we're going to be parting on the other side as well. Cause then we going to braid across. Girl doing all this dancing can we get to the hairstyle Woo! so like i said we're gonna be crossing over that braid so now i'm just going in and i am cleaning up this line okay making it look all nice and crispy before i move on and again we want to be doing this on the other side i know i'm not showing it but i'm just gonna keep saying it because i ain't showing it <laughs> and so then i went ahead and just parted the hair behind the ear again you want to make your braid like a inch wide if not smaller but yeah and then i went ahead and just cleaned that up and then i like to like hold the hair like that so that i can really see where i should be parting the hair making sure that it's like all neat nice straight all that and so now i'm going to be showing you guys the other side what that looks like try to make it as even and straight as possible take your time okay them kids they'll be all right <laughs> The kids will be okay. You getting them fly. What did Beyonce say? Pretty eyes. And the only thing that's going to be hurting is nothing. Because we, we don't hurt our kids' hair for the people in the back. They are okay. They butt might be hurting. That's it. That's all. So now we're going to go ahead and start braiding. Um, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I think I even showed it in this clip. I restarted this braid. But I just felt like it was too tight. So I just went ahead off camera, went back, and I rebraided this. Y'all, just rebraid as many times as you need to. Okay, it's better safe than sorry. Um, it, 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 like in the beginning, like the whole braid was fine. It was just that beginning part. I just felt like it was just way too tight. And I'm like, I'm trying to keep my baby here, okay? I am not trying to make my baby bald for YouTube. No, ma'am. No. So yeah, rebraid as many times as y'all need. Like I said, them kids will be okay. 
So I went ahead and did a little jumping around here so I can explain the crossover braiding. So as you guys see right here, uh, once I get done with that section, I just went ahead and I just plaque the hair down. And then once I'm over enough to where I'm on the other side, then I'm gonna start picking up hair. But you wanna make sure that like you're not pulling the braid to the other side. You just wanna keep braiding, you wanna keep plaquing all the way down freely before you start adding in hair so that we're not pulling that braid to get it to the other side and then it's all tight and everything. Y'all, 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 come look at this child. Look at him. He gonna get under me. He's like, mama, I need your love and affection. So sissy, you in the way, I'm gonna scoot you over here real quick. Let me get in real quick. Excuse me. He's like, I'm gonna need you up out my way. Then he gonna look back at her. Y'all, he act like he the only child. Baby, <laughs> you a little too late for that. So this is what the hair is looking like. Ooh, girl, it's looking good. So this is gonna be our final braid. Okay, so we're gonna do another ear to ear part, but I did part slightly above the ear. And then also when we're done with this parting, we're gonna be parting above this line for our braid. And y'all should know how you know big y'all want it small. Just match it up with the other ones. Y'all know, y'all grown people. <laughs> I ain't gotta tell y'all that. <laughs> y'all know what to do, okay? And don't forget to part on the other side as well. Um, I'm not showing it, but I just wanna keep saying it. I, you know, I just wanna throw it out there, okay? Yeah, I'm just showing y'all this little side cause y'all can see it. All right. All right, y'all. We are done with the braids. Look at, ooh. Ooh. Y'all gonna get compliments on this one right here. Ooh. So now we're gonna be moving on to sectioning just the front section for the band two knots. Yeah, so I just went in the corner and I just parted uh, down. I just made triangles. I did the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna come out with four parts. And of course, we're gonna, you know, gel it up, clean it up, make it look all nice and crisp. Y'all, I was listening to Cheetah Girls, Cinderella. Look at that show to get activated. Get it, girl. I don't want to be nothing to the lesson in the dark cold test. He's a love waiting for somebody. Yes. I'm going to have to watch that with her now. So, y'all, I am all done with the hair, okay? It's looking cute in the puffs, baby. If y'all want to leave it in the puffs, hell, I'm about to. <laughs> After a couple of days of these Bantu nuns, baby, I'm about to leave it in the puffs. Okay, so now I'm about to be showing you guys how I added the braids into the puffs, the ponytails, whatever y'all want to call it. 
Anyway, so y'all see me here. I'm just trying to get the foundation right, okay? We got the gel on the hair. Now we combing it through. I'm going to position my puff off to the side where the braid is so that I'm not pulling the braid to the puff. I'm going to bring the puff to the braid, okay? So I just went ahead, added. I got my seasoned rubber band. Wrapping around like maybe four times. And I pulled out the braid just to make sure that, you know, it still was not tight. And then, babe, we're going to move on. Okay, so now for this side, I went ahead, took that little rat tail piece, added it to that, rubber banded like four times. I pulled at it, made sure it's not tight. I even asked her. I was like, girl, is this tight? She's talking about no. I don't trust kids. <laughs> kids be lying. They don't know what the hell they talking about. Now this, I didn't show you guys, but I ended up doing that, like that back ear to ear piece. I just put it in that puff. That puff I circled right there. So y'all, if y'all want to be done, y'all can be done. Because this is a style on its own. Oh, this hairstyle is something different. It's so cute. Oh my God. So now moving on to the Bantu part. Um, I did went ahead and add just a tiny bit of weave, not to enhance her Bantu knots at all, but just so when I was done wrapping the Bantu knot, I could leave out a curly piece, but I'm going to be for real with y'all. I did her hair, so I noticed it, but now thinking back, just, I don't remember the curly pieces at all. So this is not a necessary step. Not that you was going to take this step anyway. I just, I don't know. I've been seeing pictures with girls with, you know, curly pieces and they band two knots. And it'll be looking all cute and everything. And I wasn't trying to be dramatic or too much because the baby only three. She about to be four, but she only three. So, yeah. But I mean, it was still cute. I ain't mad. It's just, you know, it's not memorable. <laughs> it's not. But <laughs> Yeah. To do the Bantu knot, you just kind of bend down the braid and it's just wrap it ever so lightly. We don't want to be like pulling and stuff like that because then it's just going to be tight. Your baby hair going to fall out. You're going to be crying because I'll be crying. Let's just not do that. All right. So now you see me trying to mess around with like some curly pieces and all that kind of stuff. So once I got it how I like it, I'm just going to go ahead and take a rubber band and secure the Bantu knot. You just wrap it around twice at the base. It ain't going to move, baby. I promise. So now we're going to move on to the accessories. This is my favorite part. And I promise this hairstyle was already a 10, baby. The accessories just take it to a next level. And I'm using charms. Oh, my God. It just, oh, my God. I just love accessories. It just takes any hairstyle to that level. I promise every single time. So yeah, I'm just messing around, placing them different places, seeing how I like it. And y'all, we are all done. Oh, I, I just keep talking about how fire this hairstyle look, y'all. I, I just can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like this hairstyle, give me a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe because I love for you to be part of the family. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.